60 years from today, in the year 2080, extensive technological developments would be changing the world forever. First of all, Mr. Musk's dream would have come to fruition, and the solar system is not just being studied, but explored. For the middle class, space hotels now allow outer space to become a travel destination. For the upper class, round trips to the moon are already an option. Guided excursions on the moon's surface are available for the ultra-rich, with the Apollo landing site as the most popular tourist destination. Mars is now self-sufficient. Inhabited by permanent residents with its infrastructure fully developed, it's grown to such an extent that Mars will soon be ready to declare independence. More and more civilians are considering starting life anew on the Red Planet, and industries will soon thrive. Number 2. Mining asteroids and other near-Earth objects has developed into a whole new industry. Its success has given birth to a new class of trillionaires on Earth. Besides gold, iron, nickel, and cobalt are consistently recovered by the mining operations that take place in the asteroid belt that's between Mars and Jupiter. These operations also extend as far as the large group of asteroids that share Jupiter's orbital path around the Sun. Artificial intelligence allows the operation to be fully automated while a network of refueling stations provide a ready source of propellants that turn water into hydrogen and oxygen. Much interest is given to the gas giants and their infinite potential. Saturn's largest moon, Titan, is showing the most promise of all and both the government and the world's largest conglomerates are shifting their attentions and funds that away. Thanks to a newly developed antimatter-powered spacecraft, it now only takes 150 days to travel to Saturn, and a group of scientists, government employees, and corporate personnel have started building the first human settlement in the ringed planet. Civilians who dream of rebuilding their life far away from Earth are now considering relocating here, knowing that in the 2100s, Saturn is bound to become a major hub for science and research, business, and tourism in the outer solar system. Number 3. Much of the world's electricity, including that of developing countries, is now carbon-free. The Earth ran out of fossil fuels about 20 years ago, and all of the newly constructed buildings now utilize solar power. More than 100 years of research has allowed man to extract the full efficiency of solar cells, and nanotechnology has largely perfected its internal structures. Next-gen solar panels are able to access a wide range of the electromagnetic spectrum beyond visible light into the infrared. They're sturdier and last longer than ever before, and the technology has allowed the panels to be configured in such a way that they easily blend into the buildings without being unsightly. Economies of scale have made the technology much more affordable and therefore more accessible to all. In 2040, commercial viability was achieved and huge clusters of solar power satellites have since orbited the Earth, providing 100% uninterrupted coverage whenever it was needed. To add to that, wind turbine projects have been increasing in number and are the technology that is predicted to be able to change the air currents of Earth soon enough. Hydroelectric power is on the decline, yet it remains a significant source of power due to recent developments in mechanical energy utilizing the tides and the waves. Meanwhile, nuclear fusion is no longer exclusive to research labs, but has found commercial use in a number of countries at this time. The high costs associated with nuclear fusion keep it from becoming used at a larger scale around the world. However, its use is predicted to increase around the 2100s as the technology decreases in size and is increasingly used for space-based applications. Number 4. Transhumanism and transcending all forms of human limits is now considered mainstream. Humans have evolved beyond physical and mental limitations so that the average person has powers and abilities beyond those of standard beings. 
In many ways, they have become more robotic than biological. Biotechnology implants and medical devices are available to anyone and everyone. For instance, having superhuman-like senses as in bionic eyes and ears, artificial organs that never fail, nanoscale brain interfaces that enhance human intellect, synthetic life-saving bodily fluids that detect and eliminate toxins, and so much more. The most adventurous of humans have the option to amputate their appendages and replace them with prosthetics that boost their strength by a hundredfold. To top it off, humans can avail of an artificial nanotechnology-based scan that can give the appearance of natural skin when applied on metallic limbs. Imagine Arnold Schwarzenegger as the Terminator traveling 40 years back. He was superior to all other humans in almost every way imaginable. He was able to run faster and for longer distances. He survived deadly wounds, coped with hostile environments without breaking a sweat. And that is what the humans in 2080 would be like compared to the fragile humans of today. Besides strength of body, they would also be considered geniuses because of nanobots and brain-computer interfaces that are merged directly with their brains. Ultimately, humans at this time would have been merged with the machine, producing a new class of humans who have vastly increased intelligence, strength, and lifespans. Number 5. Futuristic nanotechnology clothing is becoming more and more common. In 2080, complete wardrobes have become a thing of the past. A single nanotech suit performs the function of many and can transform into multiple styles and shapes. While they used to be exclusive to specialized personnel, government executives, and military forces, demand from civilians has made the technology pretty much mainstream. Fashion-forward members of the upper class have closets that consist of a thin built-in compartment on their walls. These house the nanobots and molecular building materials simply send instructions before instantly receiving his or her outfit of choice. Depending on an outfit's function, the process could take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes. For example, clothes could be made harder than steel to prevent a bullet from penetrating the flesh. It can be soft as cotton in the event of an accident or to cushion a fall. It can be used to protect firefighters and other rescue workers from hazards such as fire or radiation. When a user is hurt, the material has the ability to administer life-saving drugs and contract to seal a wound. In outer space, the technology is able to protect users from meteorites, cosmic radiation, and spikes in air pressure. They become buoyant when the person falls near a body of water, and it can easily detect deadly diseases of all types before a harmful level is reached. The nanowires embedded in the fabric capture solar energy and generates enough electricity from footsteps to supply power for all those functions. Number 6. Pico Technology is finding more and more practical applications in numerous sectors. Thanks to recent developments, it is now possible to measure tiny structures that are only one trillionth of a meter. The structure and properties of individual atoms can be altered with the manipulation of energy states within electrons. This can produce metastable states with highly unusual properties. New exotic forms of matter have been created. For instance, materials that are harder and lighter in weight than carbon nanotubes. Human brain scans are ably done at a subatomic level, and this technology will be used to further the development of transhuman synthetic brains. Number 7. Quantum level simulations of viruses allow accurate virus modeling. Using new developments in Lattice quantum chromodynamics, Scientists now have a complete picture of these organisms that range between 20 to 300 nanometers in size. More than ever, a clearer picture of viruses allows us to understand them in such a way that may allow humans to gain absolute immunity from them. 
New insights about the nature of matter are being made on the daily, and a future where humans can create synthetic human bodies that have an upgraded functionality may become a reality in the very near future. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to MetaUverse for more Tesla and tech updates on this space.